Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to Witch Tree on the that much difficulty. We're heading straight in because I had to uh, cut in between uh, us escaping the Isle of Mist. You didn't miss anything if you're wondering because this is just uh, one cutscene to the next. But uh, I'm not going to make two hour episodes. So uh, this one should be, I think, episode 100. Which uh, I have to admit, yeah, I kind of forced it to be episode 100 when we started out this part of the story. And welcome back to Care Morden, by the way. And she is quite pleased to be back here. But of course we won't have much time before uh, the wild hunt follow us. Welcome back, child. Okay, that was really enthusiastic. My, you've grown beautiful. Oh, that's something other than what she says in the books. Because Yennefer always chastises Siri no about how ugly around. she is in the books. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit, any of you. Just like I remembered. <laughs> Except for the new outfit, probably. What? Ooh. Little sis. And there's Triss. Don't be so jealous. So, uh, looks like the gang's all here. Well, most of the gang, anyway. They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. And I think we still have something for, uh... Triss. So good to see you again. Damn, it's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Triss, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. No, we'd better all be going. Fine, a minute, now we go. Fine. So, a minute, then we go? All right. Yeah, we had to make a decision, right? This is just a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. But for your candor. <laughs> well then, this scene would be a lot different if you, uh... Go. Well, I had chosen Triss, or didn't choose at all, and just went for both of them. There we go, level 28. That's what I was talking about when we would be leveling quickly. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with Dimeridium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. It'll be a hard fight. So now we can talk to everybody who's here. So here's uh, Hjalmar, ah, Tholan and Viggy. You and Siri grow up together. That's you right. You Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was, scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates, why none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once, smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye, we had 12 winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Well, uh, she's here, right? Farewell, I'm great. There we go, that's one. Then we have Sultan near the explosives. Bring all your tools with you? Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. 
plate will need some hammering, that sort of thing. Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more Mahakam and Mix. Shade so volatile you need but glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. So this is also uh, very important to uh, right. we'll talk later, Zoltan. the battle, because we will be able to use these barrels to our Great advantage. To mood, Zoltan. Anything else? No. Okay. So then we have Ermion and Vesemir. You must just ignite it at the right moment. And that hole, is that there for good? We shall worry about the hole once it is all over. And now, step back, Master Witcher. So Ermion will uh, provide some more explosives. If you can do that Anadir, here. Anadar, Bolanda. Well, poison gas. Great. Some more traps around the environment, uh, and then we She's have no Lambert. No we'll let him take her. Hello, Lambert. Damn and then junk. Younger than maybe we can talk to him. Any progress. Just can't get this thing to fling a bolt. They'll sooner appoint me Hierarch of Novigrad. <laughs> well, that would be an interesting uh, sight. Then we have Pascal. Esco. Need some peace. You gotta prepare. Sounds good. Do whatever you need to do, Eskel. And then we have Vess and uh, Vernon Roach. Glad to see you. Huh. Set out alone, Vess tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. <laughs> Poor man. I pity the man. Uh. Uh. Some old friends. And there we have... What's this horse son doing here? <laughs> we need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. You gotta understand me. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll keep an eye on Letho. And I'll behave, I promise. Watch this murderer and you won't be watching the enemy. Why is the Kingslayer so important? Well, it's another witcher Herodin's to the team. King, <laughs> Fuck you both. Okay, very we'll friendly. Stay help, but we don't want him at our backs. Fine, we'll put him in the front Roach. then. No desire to talk to you right now, Geralt. Okay then. Sorry, we brought Leto. Let's see if he has anything to say. Big fight ahead of us. How's morale? Remember our encounter with them at the Hanged Man's Tree. We'll thrash him again this time. Sounds good, Leto. Sounds good. We only need your sword and your uh, magic abilities to keep the Wild Hunt at bay. And well, another Witcher can't do any harm, right? Well, not to us, anyway. I think that's pretty much it. Because uh, everybody else went inside. So let's enter Caremore and Keep and let's begin the council. So another save for uh, good measure. And there we have Kira Metz. Hello, Kira. Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. Getting all gussied up for the wild hunt. Women only ever beautify themselves for their own satisfaction. Good to know. Glad you're here. It's good to see you again. Um, thought you might arrive earlier, indeed. Expected you earlier. I started off heading in the opposite direction, but then turned around. What made you change your mind? There are times when the woman should simply not explain her decision. That goes doubly for sorceresses. So they stay, uh, very, very mysterious. So I can actually, I think I can dismantle this illusion, but I won't, because, uh... How are you? Care more into your liking? More so than Velen, but that's hardly an achievement. Well, you've made a lovely home for yourself, it looks like. So let's see what else we have. The rest of our band of uh, witchers and sorceresses. Get everybody together. Time to talk. A council is due. We have a few things to talk about, don't we? 
Hopefully this all still stands after the battle. This Geralt doesn't look so uh, convinced about Kermoran's structural integrity. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? That looks like a full right house, doesn't them. it? And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? <laughs> we all have a task. There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Sounds good. So, uh, Siri is the target here, so we have to defend her. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Um, that sounds very dangerous for all of us, but we have to work together, Remember, right? Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Okay, so now the rest of the plan. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. So we need to make another decision. So what does the lab get us? Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. Hmm. So, um... The potions won't, oh, will only benefit the witchers. The witcher traps might benefit everybody. But, of course, we might also think that the Witchers are the most formidable warriors in this place. And we have one extra now that Leto has joined us. So, um... Hard decision, but I think I'll go for Witcher traps anyway, because everybody... Although we do have a lot of traps, we have the barrels, we have the gas... Uh, I think the potions will be most useful. Always relied on potions. We should brew as many as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? The roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. 
They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. So this is, uh, to me anyway, a bit of a, an easier decision because, well, everybody already has a weapon. Uh, it only buffs their damage a bit, I think, if we get those. Um, but I think patching up the wall is a lot more important, so let's go with that. Fixing the breach in the wall is a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yep. Let's get to work. Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard and pull back to the keep. And hopefully it doesn't come to that. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. But that we won't see. A few hours later. Weapons yeah, ready. I'm feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Okay, let's talk about what to expect. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. Your potions. Okay, so that's something. Thanks for everything. I'll saddle Is that a better version of a uh, superior swallow? Minutes. But I think I already had that. Taking leather with this. You know my opinion. We do. We do. Nothing I can help you with there. Exit the keep and join Lambert when you're ready to face the wild hunt. So let's talk to Siri first. Got a minute. Oh, serious talk coming. She's a bit mad. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be all right. Well, let's hope that anyway. Uh, I think there's a workbench around here. Yep. So I'm gonna improve my armor over here. Then we'll head into the character menu. Because since becoming level 28, we uh, got another mutagen slot, which we'll use to add one of the greater blue ones. There we go, so an extra 20 sign intensity right now, but of course I think we have yeah, the uh, Igni sign intensity. I don't think the Wild Hunt has that many... Um, archers, but well, it could happen. Uh, and then we have two ability points to spend, so we got the uh, Igni Sign Intensity, which we're gonna just upgrade twice. So there we go. And now we also have access to the lowest row, which we'll uh, pick one from to, uh, I think I'm gonna use the Supercharged Glyphs and we're gonna add that down below when we get that at level 30. Uh, I don't think there's much else for us here. No, I don't think so. So now it's time to let the battle for Kaer Morin begin. Goodbye, Siri. See you soon. A 
Everybody's in position. Preparing for what's to come. The pendulum. There we go. The air is getting cold. Fog is setting in. And the wild hunt is coming. Where's Letho? Hopefully Yennefer gets up her shield. Oh, there he is. Fast enough. Here we go. And because of these pre-rendered cutscenes you uh, might see a few other costumes because the standard costumes for uh, Chris, Yennefer and Ciri will be viewed in those so they're gonna switch costumes again soon. Is that series default outfit? So the wild hunt starts off with a giant storm. And now it's up to Yennefer to hold that shield. Because it's impressive. So we've received a few Perhaps items that can help us. This is all over. That spell. One of it, which is the uh, invisibility. The invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. He always talk this much. Only when he's nervous. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Mean to say Marigold can conjure up more than a cloud of butterflies. Lots more. Wait and see. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. So, uh, she kind of killed all those. They didn't really show that, but, uh... I always found this scene amazing with the shield overhead, the fireballs incoming constantly. So now we're gonna have to search for, uh, shields. Uh, shields. Portals, Roaches like that one. Couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. Are you kidding? We're lucky we didn't fall in. So, let's go for a dimeridium bomb. She's good at this kind of warfare. Covers one perhaps in the hallway. There we go. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Yeah. 
So let's heal up by doing that. And attack the ones that are distracted by Lambert. Because they really are here to help us. So that's those two. And then the Hound. Igni works perfectly against these fellows. Because they can't stand the fire. And nothing stands Tree Witchers. Now does it. Well, no problem, I think. I'm gonna switch to Igni again. One less to worry about. Need to stay uh, away from the from the Dimeridium myself, because I can't use any of my signs when I'm close to it. I wonder if Axie works against these guys. It does look like it. Have to be careful. Goodbye. I can't really reach it over there. There we go. They do have quite a lot of crystallized essence, apparently. And rune stones. So we have one more left. I wonder if I can throw it this far. There we go. Let's switch back to Axie. He goes. And put the dog on fire. There we go. Keep coming. So that's those portals. Geralt, come here. Look, they're regrouping. See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spells wing. We're becoming visible. We're gonna try to kill him. Too risky. Pansy. <laughs> so let's signal Triss to rain down hell. What's 
with Marigold. Shit. So Triss seems to be in trouble because we uh, don't see any fireballs. And Siri decided to get out of the keep. Which is a bad idea in and of itself. You were meant to wait inside. I cannot hide forever. I must face them. Back inside now. No. Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it. All right, run to her. Oh, hi. I thought I killed you. Hey. Thanks, Alton. So you might not notice, but Siri actually gets new abilities uh, along our fighting. So we got Blink already. So this one. Whoop! But I do need to be careful because Triss uh, Siri is a lot more squishy than Geralt is. So Siri is really annoying on that march, because she has no way of defending herself. See, I got hit there without actually... I'm actually teleporting, so... There we go. Just need to keep uh, a look at her health. So now that Triss is safe. Ooh, shit. That was awesome. That was amazing. Thanks, Triss. Um, back to Geralt. Because he's in a bit of trouble. Luckily we've uh, got an extra Witcher to help us out with. In the Get face, back. bitches! <laughs> and he was underneath one of them. But Imlarith survived. Sadly. Oh, God! Kind of forgot of this part. Don't stop! Marigold will shield us! By firing fireballs at us? So yeah, because Imlarith is not really dead. So 
So now it's time to start using our traps that we've set. Large detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. Next objective, close the gate. So we need to uh, focus ourselves to uh, getting the gates open. The gate, damn it! Shut the gate! Yes, I am going. And there we have Ermion fighting the uh, the dogs. Yes, Jesus. There we go. There's Imlarith. And he's gonna keep banging that team until it goes down. That looked like it hurt. So Kira to the rescue. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, Edmund. Lambert, damn it! Stay with us! We gotta pull back! Yennefer's strength is waning! So luckily we got the Kira to our side, because uh Lambert wouldn't have come out really nicely there. Uh, heads down, probably. Next up, let's blow this shit. So that killed pretty much every one of those. Oh, what? So, what happens? Oh, that one must have exploded. I don't want to leave those guys here. Don't want to die again. Okay. Where's Esco? Damn it. You agreed he'd open that gate. Hasn't done it yet. Means he'll be We're going to have to switch to Siri. Triss to worry about now. Okay, get to Triss. If I stay back a bit, I can blow all of that up. Let's add some competition now, shall we? Uh, 
And there that goes. Everything alright? Yes, thanks. Things were looking shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Eskel? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. Okay, we will. Oh, that doesn't look good. That definitely doesn't look good. But Eskel isn't easily impressed now, is he? Oh, he didn't expect that now, did he? This is so fucking awesome to watch. And he cheated. Well, uh, we kind of also know someone who can uh, teleport. Oh, snap. Hello. I can do it too. <laughs> and you need me alive, of course. Let's take care of this. Oh yeah! Oh, I love playing as Siri. She's fucking amazing. There he goes. I'll take these. We have to open the gate for them. Quick and very painful. No, you won't. We have to open the gate for them. Let's do it. This is gonna either be a hell of an episode or two episodes, but uh, I guess you already know that by now. You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. Yes, it is. Come on, Carol, put it away. Time already, bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. Thanks. I'm gonna run off to close those portals first, try to avoid. There we go. Stitch. 
so I'm gonna try and ignore everything that's trying to kill me right now and go for the portals first I wonder if I have any extra dimeridium bombs I think I have a few left well I have one left it's gonna have to do and my armor got damaged not the best moment to have damaged armor now is it There we go! That's everything! Because you can't fight them all, there's way too many to be fighting them all. But that doesn't look good. And the Ennifer collapses, the shield collapses, and that allows the White Frost to come inside. Immediately freezing Geralt, because he was right in front of the gate. So we are now officially powerless. Pascal's immobilized as well, so only Vesemir and Ciri remain. And there's him, Loren. And Aradin. So Vesemir is fighting like a wolf. Pushes Siri out of the way. Hello, Aradin. She'll not abandon you. You humans are so impractical. So Aradin realizes that uh, if he keeps Fezimir alive, Sira will have no choice but to uh, surrender. And Vesemir's knows that too. You were an unruly child. I adored that about you. No flower. And Emma Reds. Was a bit mad about that. And that's the end of Vesemir. Causes her to lose control. The elder blood cannot be contained.
she's starting to take care more of with her. Luckily, Avalak could uh, stop Siri, because otherwise everybody would have died. And Geralt realizes that uh, a lot of time has passed. I was too late to help him. You weren't. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kemorhan. It was our only option. And Vesemir realized that the only way Avalon to save Ciri... ...but alive. Triss is tending to the others. ...was to let himself die. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. Because, well, it's the other way around. You saved us, actually. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. That was our decision, not yours. Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. I really should stop this crying. <sighs> that was uh, one heavy scene. And Vesemir's chair. A funeral pyre. As is, uh, Fitting for a warrior as him.
yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Sorry I've been quiet for a minute, but uh, some moments are better served with me sh just shutting up. And I think uh, this one was one of those times. But fail. Hello, Avalach. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. Yeah, because we have to uh, determine our next steps. But that was the battle for Kaer Morhen. And uh, next time we're going to talk to Avalach about what to do next. I think I'm this will be one big episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, enjoying is a bit too much, standing in front of a funeral pyre, but uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a tilt to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next, hopefully a bit more cheerful episode. Goodbye. Goodbye, Vesemir.